Uh, I'm passing the mic to Tommy Dunbear, who's prepared, um, uh, who's going to present her story with her Room 9 kids and how she introduced Lifelike uh, uh, with, with, with PowerPoint and uh, formerly Office Mix and PowerPoint Recorder. So let's take a look. I know that all of you use Lifelike in your classroom, or at least I hope you do. And if you haven't, you absolutely have to. Don't need any of that fancy recording stuff anymore because now we have screen recording. But how do I use that with Lifelike? Let me give you a practical example. Is I'm going to go to my recording tab. I'm going to click on screen recording. And my PowerPoint is going to minimize. And now I've got what I had up behind it. And you can see it's, it's my Lifelike on, online. Fifth grade standard in the United States is they have to know some things about volcanoes. So I'm going to set this up. And I'm going to record this so I can use it both in a lesson and also post it on my website so students can go back and review. So I'm going to click on the record button. It's going to give me a countdown to get me ready. And then I'm ready to record. Hey, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about some volcanic activity. But the most important two words today are magma and lava. And if I hit the stop button, it stops recording. And the nice thing is it's going to take me back to my PowerPoint and check it out. There's my recording. And our students don't get a big chance to get out and experience things. But with lifelike and using the power of PowerPoint, they're able to put themselves in situations that they would never find themselves before. I hope I never see myself with a pregnant is quite that big. And I hope that this has been helpful for you. I will be happy, happy to answer any questions.